What are elected officials doing to keep the Sundance Film Festival from moving out of the Beehive State? Salt Lake and Park Cities are one of the three possible locations for the film festival. Yeah, so what exactly are these cities offering now? Paul Nelson, live on Main Street in Park City with more. And Paul, what are elected officials saying about their efforts to try to keep Sundance where it all started? Well, both cities are actually working with the Utah Film Commission to, in order to come up with an incentive package or a bid to keep Sundance right where it is. Now, if that bid is successful, most of the events would move away from here in Park City and go, go towards Salt Lake. Now, the state is offering its own incentive package as well, but what exactly is Salt Lake City giving? Some tourism industry insiders have told us it's becoming too costly to host an event like the Sundance Film Festival in Park City. We asked Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall if the rising costs were one of the reasons Sundance was considering moving. And this is what I was hearing through the grapevine, um, that the reason why Sundance was considering leaving is because Park City is just becoming too expensive to have the, to have the festival there. Is there truth to that? I think there's a reality to price increases all over the country, especially in growing areas with strong economies. But the city itself isn't offering any tax breaks. She says they're offering Sundance more places to host events than they've had before, and organizers can apply for assistance if needed. There are lots of funds that Salt Lake City has, such as our ACE grant that we run out of the mayor's office, that we deploy for events and festivals every single year. Mendenhall says she's thrilled Sundance has chosen Salt Lake and Park City as one of their three final options, but other people who have reached out to KUTV have been more negative. They've been saying things like, we shouldn't be thrilled that they're considering staying. We should be upset that they're considering leaving. Uh, to those people, how do you respond? Our opportunity right now is to make sure that the identity of Sundance remains rooted in the state of Utah. Some Park City residents say the festival does cause a lot of traffic problems for people who live there, but others like Skip Zenger says Sundance could lose part of its appeal by moving mostly to Salt Lake. It's ritzy up here, it's, it's high end, that's what they're used to, they're catered, they're catered to here. I just think Salt Lake City would become a wash. Now Mendenhall says that they are considering boosting public transit between Park City and Salt Lake City to make it easier for people to hop back and forth between the events. Also, they're considering closing off Main Street in Salt Lake City uh, during the festival, similar to what they do in the summer. Reporting live, Paul Nelson, KUTV, 2 News.